Hello, hello, welcome. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. All right, welcome to another English class. Okay, this is the class number six. Class number six. Let's get started in a couple of minutes. Vamos a iniciar en un par de minutos mientras los demás compañeros se unen. Okay, vamos a recordar un poco los average frequency. Okay, vamos a esperar two minutes. Two minutes to start the class. Okay, people, let's start the class. Welcome to another English class. Okay, class number six. Let's get started. My name is Rodrigo, and today we're going to start the class. All right. Vamos a ir. Vamos a comenzar. Okay, but for to start, we're going to remember. Vamos a ir directamente al manual. Oh, I'm sorry. Vamos a ir directo al man, directamente al manual. Okay, y... Vamos a ir a la reading. Okay, reading. Voy a compartir con ustedes pantalla. Me indican si lo pueden escuchar y visualizar. If you can see and read and listen to the audio. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay. All right, that, that is the reading. Okay, that is the reading part. So I'm going to share a screen. Again, I'm going to say compartir con pantalla. It is a eating, eating for good luck. ¿Saben qué significa look? Good luck. Good luck. Buena suerte, exactly. Y dice, one special occasion do you ever eat any of the foods in this picture? 
Ok, ¿alguna vez han comido com o han ingerido comida para tener buena suerte? Have you ever eaten food just to have a good look? No, no. right? No. We don't have, we don't have that the tradition. Custom. Tal vez ya he escuchado que se bañan con ruda, pero que coman algo. No. Ok. Dice la número uno. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round food. And... And begin again like years. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are around round, round food and, and begin again like years. Okay. The siguiente dice que it's a Jewish, Jewish custom to eat people apples with honey for a sweet new year. Okay, sweet new year. Dice que a Greek eat a basilo, basilopita, something like that, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for look and money at the new year. Ah, esta es bastante de nosotros. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight, one, one new year's. Ah, a, one grape for good luck in each month of the new year. Next, one New Year day in Japan, people eat mochi rice cakes for strength in the New Year. Some Americans from Southern states eat black eye peas and rice with color green. The black eye peas are like coins and the greens are like dollar. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Maximiliano que haga lectura del Chinese. A Mr. José Ramos, que haga lectura de Jewish. Y a Miss Alicia, que haga lectura de Greek. Greek it. Ready? Yes. <clears throat> Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round food, and, and begin again like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Great eat basil pita, bread with a coin inside. Ever try to find the coin for look and money in the new year. Good, excellent. All right, now, Mr. Maximiliano in Spain, Mr. Jose Ramon on New Year's Day, and Ms. Alicia, some American from Southern State. In Spain, in some Latin American countries, people eat 12th grade at midnight on New Year's Eve, one grade for good look in each month of the New Year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi uh, rice cakes for a strength in a New Year. Okay, strength, strength, a strength, a strength. Okay. okay, good. Continue. Um, some America from Sounder stay eat black egg, peas, and rice with coir green, the black egg. Is are like cones and the green are like dollars. Excellent, very good. Okay, uh, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round like year, years. Okay, dice, lee, la, lee el artículo y después corrige las oraciones. Tenemos, vamos a la del 2 al 6. Vamos a leer las oraciones basadas en el artículo. Y hacer las correcciones pertinentes. Por ejemplo, en some Chinese people are tangerines, tangerines are. Y la forma correcta era round. Vamos a hacer la número 2, 3, 4, 5 y 6. Ok, vamos a corregir la oración basada en el artículo.
All right, ready. Who has number two? Who has number two? Uh, some Jewish people eat apple with honey for a sweet new year. Excellent, with honey, right? Honey, good. So the mistake is, oh, what happened? Candy is the mistake. Candy is a mistake, exactly. Okay. Oh, no, is that candy, right? With honey. Good. Number three, Greek eat basilopita. Greek eat basilopita bread with a coin inside. Exactly, coin. Here it says bean. Number four, in Europe, people. In Spain. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12th grade for good luck in New Year. So in Europe, no, the mistake is the mistake. In Spain. In Spain. And the number five, the Japanese eat a rice cake for a strange, a strange. Excellent, a strange. rice. Okay. And number Some six. Some Americans. It black eyed peas and black eyed peas are <laughs> like a coins. coins. Like coins. So the mistake are is dollars, right? Dollars. Yes. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Do you eat anything special on New Year's Day for good look? Do you do anything special? Tell your classmate. Uh, bread with chicken. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> the tradition. What, what, tradition is, what is the food that you usually do? You usually eat? That bread with, with chicken or turkey or, or turkey. Turkey, okay. Bread with turkey. chicken and uh, or turkey. Or Good. some tamales. <laughs> okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Mm. Uh, uh, what is that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, how about Miss Alicia? Miss Alicia, do you eat anything special on New Year's Day? New Year's Day for good luck? Um, spaghetti. 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 Okay. Yeah. Kitchen. All Chicken. right. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Okay. Okay, this is a sport season in the US and Canada. In the spring, People, o sea, dependiendo de la época, es el deporte que se puede practicar. Por ejemplo, in spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. Okay, in the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, play swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play ba basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Okay, here we have this conversation. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. The conversation. Hold on, please. Un minuto. Okay, hold on. Acá está. Vamos a escuchar. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. 
In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, winter. I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So we listen the conversation. Hold on. Okay, here we go. It says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really, what sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Well, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. What do you do in your free time? Tell your partner. Ok, vamos a pedirle a... Hola, voy a leer una vez. Una vez más. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really, what sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Ok. Here we go. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Maximiliano y a Mr. José Ramón si nos ayuda a hacer lectura. Mr. Maximiliano, él es Loren, and Mr. José, he's Justin. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you, do, do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. You're a really good athlete. When do you play? When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. This sports, I just watch them on television. 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 Yeah. Okay, aquí es eh, la fuerza va un poquito al, al la, tel, en la L, television. Vamos television. Bien. Exactly. Television. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about Mr. Kevin and Miss Alicia, please? Miss Alicia. Hello? Mr. Kevin, he is Lauren. And Miss Alicia, he, she is Justin. <clears throat> so. Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love you. I love a sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch. The them on television. Excellent. Very good. Okay, ahora vamos a discutir la pregunta. What do you do in your free time? 
what do you do in your free time? Vamos a tratar de llenar al menos cinco líneas, ¿ok? De lo que es lo que hace en su tiempo libre. Va a decir su deporte, la lectura, ¿ok? What do you do in your free time? Vamos a, vamos a discutir esta pregunta. We're going to discuss this question. Ok, what do you do in your free time?
Okay. Let's see what you discuss with your class. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's begin with Mr. Jose Ramon Polanco Gutierrez. What do you usually do in your free time, Mr. Um, watch TV and sleep. <laughs> okay, in my free time. Okay, in my free time, um, I watch uh, some okay, television series. Uh, I playing on my phone or I sleep. All right, good. Uh, what is your favorite series? Uh, it's called the the Last of Us and uh, the Last of Us on Game of Thrones too. Okay, I I watched the Last of Us too. I'm the last Ooh. episode in the last episode. Really? Right? The episode. It's episode very number, good. number nine. Good, uh, good series. Good series. Yes. Okay. How about Mr. Kevin? What do you do in your free time? I do nothing. <laughs> I like to see, to watch television and go around some, sometimes. Uh, uh, um, that is también. Okay, watch, watch series. Watch um, series, okay. What is your favorite okay. series? I have many favorite series. For example, For example uh, he said Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. All right, good. Uh, or oh, oh, the House of Dragon. Okay, um, House of Dragon. That that is the last series, right? The ultimate. Yes, the House of Dragon. Okay. También este. Hay otro que me gusta. La que está saliendo Stranger Things. Ah, Stranger Things. That is good. Uh -huh. Good. I like it. How about Mr. Maximiliano? What do you do in your free time? In my free times, uh, I like to read uh, some mangas. I like to watch TV. And right now, I, I, I'm not watching. Uh, NBA plays. Okay, but match. That is, that, the match, yes. But that's one that one of the things I like the most uh, when I come to home after work and there's a match, I watch it. Principally, if it of the Warriors, Lakers, Celtics, those are my favorite teams. And I play soccer sometimes. Right now, I, I'm I'm trying to, to to make it again because the last year I have a, a a bad injury in my knee, and right now I'm trying to to come back from that injury. All right, and good. That's all. Excellent. All right, excellent. How about Miss Alicia? What do you do in your free time? My free time, um, I like sleep. Um, I like. Um, and I like to study English, principal, okay. <laughs> and watch TV. Watch TV. All right, excellent, Miss. Okay. How often? How often do you watch TV? Con cuánta frecuencia? How often do you watch TV? Um, Every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Well, now we're going to do the the WH question. Well, we have the WH question. For example, we have what. What significa qué o cuál. Okay. What. Okay. Also, we have who. Quién. Quién. All right, también tenemos where, que significa? Donde. Donde. How often, significa? Con, 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 cuánta, con, con qué frecuencia, con qué tan a menudo. When, 
¿Dónde? ¿Cuándo? 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 ¿En what time? ¿A qué hora? ¿A qué, ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué horas? Entonces, what, qué o cuál, who, quién, where, dónde, how ¿Dónde? often, con cuánta frecuencia, eh, when, cuándo, en what time, ¿Cuándo? a qué hora. ¿A qué horas? Ok, dice, what sports do you play? What sports do you play? Who do you play baseball with? Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice? What time do you practice? Okay. Vamos a... Okay, después tenemos, I play hockey and baseball. I play with some friends from work. We have a team. We play a hunter park. We practice once or twice a week. We practice on Sunday. And we start at 10 o'clock in, in the morning. Good. Vamos a practicar las WH question. Segundo. Hold on, please. Vamos a ver qué tal. Voy a compartir con ustedes este link.
Ok, bueno, mientras hacen el, el link o lo continuamos después de esto, vamos a ver las WH questions. Ok, ¿y qué son las WH questions? Son aquellas palabritas que nos ayudan a poder formular preguntas. Por ejemplo, tenemos when, que dijimos que significaba. Cuando. Cuando, ok. La, the answer can be today, ahora. La siguiente oración, la siguiente WH question es who, que significa quién, 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 ok, quién. También tenemos which, which es usualmente utilizado para preguntar dos opciones, ok, dos opciones, como cuáles podría ser. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, which is your favorite color, cuál es tu color favorito, o which is your favorite food, ¿Cuáles son tus comidas favoritas, cuáles. Ok, ¿cuáles? También tenemos Who's, no sé si alguien sabe qué significa esto. Who's, quién, eh, creo yo, algo así. Oh. ¿De quién? ¿De quién? Who's. ¿De quién? Ah, sí, de quién, es cierto. Lewis ok, ¿de quién? Por ejemplo, ¿who's that t-shirt? ¿De quién, ¿De quién es esa camisa? ¿De quién es el carro rojo? ¿Who's that uh, red car? ¿De quién es? ¿De quién es esa casa? Who's that house? Who's? ¿De quién es este celular? Who's this help? Who's de quién? Entonces usted contesta, ah, Mary's phone es de María. O is my brother's car. Ok. Eh, la siguiente podría ser, where, ¿a dónde? Where. Uh -huh. Ok, después tenemos What ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? What? ¿A qué? Ok, y the next one puede ser How, ¿cómo? Ok, ¿cómo? How, by bike By bike Por ejemplo, ¿cómo vas o cómo viajas a tu trabajo? How do you how do you get to your home? How do you get to your to your job? ¿Cómo viajas? Puede ser ah by bike, en moto o en, en, en bus, by bus, en automóvil, by, by car, by motorcycle, no. by motorcycle, exactly. Okay, la siguiente es why. ¿Por qué? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Por qué? Why? Yes. Why? Por qué? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y contestamos por qué, pero en forma en forma de respuesta mm -hmm. es because. Okay, por ejemplo, eh, why didn't you come to the class? ¿Por qué no viniste a la clase? Because, porque I was sick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are... Okay, for example, ¿cuál sería esta pregunta? Mm, when do you get up? What time When do you get up? At seven. Very good. ¿Qué tal esta? What time? What time do you have your breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Ah, what do you have? Uh -huh. What? What do you have for breakfast? Okay. Breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué tal esta? Do you go to school? Oh, how do you go to school? How do you, how do you go to school? How do you go to school? Mm -hmm. Whose book is it? Whose book is Whose it? Whose book is it? Whose book is it? Whose book is it? Uh, who is your favorite actor? Your favorite actor. Who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite actor? Yeah. Okay.
Ok, recordamos que how many es para decir cuántos, ¿Cuántos? pero contables, cosas que se pueden contar. How much es cuánto, pero cosas incontables. How often dijimos que era. Eh, frecuentemente. ¿sabes? ¿Con cuánta frecuencia? Frecuentemente. ¿Cuánta frecuencia? ¿Con cuánta frecuencia? ¿Con qué frecuencia? O con qué frecuencia, exactly. Which dijimos que era. ¿Cuál? 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 Muy bien. Por ejemplo, why do you want to go home? Because it's late. Because it's late. Where do you live? Uh, In Oxford. In Oxford. Oxford. How mm -hmm. often do you watch TV? Every day. Every day. Every day. Uh, which hand do you write with? With my left hand. All right. Uh, how many brothers have you got? Only one. Only one. Only one okay. Yes. Excellent. Bueno, ahora vamos a completar. Hoy sí vamos a completar el ejercicio del link que les compartí. Recuerden, how much es para cuántos, pero incontable. How many es cuánto, pero contable. Ok. Aquí van a utilizar whose, which, what. Ok, vamos a. No sé si pudieron abrir el link. Yes. Yes. All right. Vamos a tratar de completarlo.
No sé. Que me parecía que solo yo estaba aquí. De ver. Ah, ya. Ya. Ok. Ya voy por la pregunta 22. Ah, no, hombre. Papá, ayúdame. Vale. Question words. Fill in the correct question word. The number one, que es el example. What is your hobby? Mm -hmm. Ah, no, 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 no. También hay que ponerlo. Y es, what, what is your hobby? Ah. What is tu pasatiempo? Uh -huh, what? Mm -hmm. The number two. Number two. Why? Who? No. Why are you late? ¿Por Why? qué? ¿Por qué llegas tarde? ¿O ¿Por qué estás tarde? Why? Yes. Number three. Me suena como algo de, de, de... Lessons do you have this? Six lessons. ¿Cuándo? Ahí que vamos, que tendríamos que usar. When. Da... When, ¿por qué when? ¿Cuándo? No. La número tres. Lessons do you have? Uh -huh. Lecciones que tienes. Y la respuesta es seis lecciones. ¿Cuál debería de ser la pregunta? Como which? No. Which is? The, como, ¿cuáles? No. No. ¿Puede ser? No. ¿Cuál es entonces? Porque si te puse a which lessons do you have, la respuesta tendría que ser, for example, I have math lessons, English lessons, uh, science lessons. O sea, ahí, ahí le está preguntando. Ah, ¿qué le... ¿Cuántas dice? ¿verdad? ¿Cuántas lecciones tienes? Ajá. Entonces, ¿cuál tendría que ser? What? What no, porque what es para qué. Ay, no, dígame. How many? Ay, es que esa no la oh. tengo aquí. Bien, aquí está ¿Cómo es? Ajá, uh -huh. no, how many es cuántas. Many. Um... Porque ya le digo el, el many. Next. <laughs> Number número four. Is that Is man? That man and the doctor. The door. At the, the door. The door. Oh, door. At the door. Is that man in the door? What? Mm. What? WH question we have to use. What? No. What? What is? Solo entiendo el contexto de la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Es ese hombre en la puerta. ¿Qué le está preguntando? ¿O qué le ¿Quién? falta para que la... 
Ah, exacto. Entonces, ¿cuál es la WH question? ¿Para quién? Who. Uh -huh. Correcto. Uh -huh. Number five. Do you want, do you, do you want the, to the club? Vas al club. ¿Con qué frecuencia? No. Puede ser. Up of the, ¿Con qué frecuencia? Le está preguntando es... como una hora. Ah. Exacto. Uh. ¿Y cuál doble respuesta we use for that? Hello. What time? Podría ser. What time do you go to the club? O en le... este caso, en este caso, si se fijan en las opciones que tenemos aquí a un lado, no aparece what time. Uh -huh. Sino que when. Y si se when. fijó en los examples que nos daba el, el teacher, ahí aparecía. When do when. you take breath? ¿Cuándo? Y ahí decía. Dependiendo del contexto, puede significar a qué horas. Entonces, ahí es when. Uh -huh. When do you go to the club? At six o'clock. Is your sister? Aquí no aparece, pero aquí debería de ser Paul is your sister. ¿Cómo? Paul. De edad, porque la respuesta mm -hmm. es She's 11 Le está preguntando la edad sí. Entonces con las opciones sería cuál Ahí no parece, solo A mí la única que me suena es The old Pues apongamos. Yo esa puse. Oh, oh. Next. Old. Mm -hmm. En la número 7. Are you crying? Are you crying? I, I lost my keys. ¿Cómo sería el contexto de la pregunta? I love, lost my keys. Ah. Who's? Who's? ¿Por qué who's? ¿Por qué? Ah, no, no es de quién. Exacto. <risa> Podría ser who's si, usted, si la pregunta fuera eh, is crying over there. Who's crying over there? Ahí uh -huh. sí. Pero aquí no. Aquí es, are you crying? Si usted la conjugara en español, ¿qué le está queriendo decir? Porque la respuesta es, I lost my keys. Como, como cuál? No. Como que te gusta. ¿Qué es lo que normalmente le pregunta a uno cuando está llorando? Cuando estoy llorando. ¿Eh? Yo no lloro. Si algún día ha visto a alguien usted llorar, ¿qué es lo que normalmente le pregunta? Está llorando. ¿O? ¿Oh? ¿Por está qué está llorando. llorando? Ah, ¿por qué está llorando? Entonces, ¿cuál sería la WH pues? Why? Exactly. Number eight. Wow. Next. And number eight. Eight. We go to. Come on. What is your routine? No. No. Regresarás. ¿Cuándo? No. Exacto. When will you return? 
Bueno. Next. Number nine. Have you gone? Libro que compraste. Y la respuesta es. How three many? Bucks. How many? How many? How many? Is your dad? How old is your dad? He's your son. Yeah, that. Exacto. What? Bueno. La otra. Fue de concert star. What time? Ay, que no está, vea. Uh -huh. Max. Sí, no está. Pero po podría ser. Podría ser. O podría ser. When will, when will the concert start? When we. When. When. Ajá. Y we. No, when. Porque will es la siguiente palabra. Ah. Ah. Entonces, when. When. Oh, what time? Las dos. Vamos a poner para ver cuál es la buena. Is playing with the dog. Is playing with the dog. ¿Qué es? No. ¿Sí? No. No. Si se fija. La pregunta va en un contexto de saber algo. Uh -huh. Y la respuesta es mi amigo My Tom. Friend. Mi amigo Tom. Ajá. ¿Qué utilizamos nosotros para preguntar acerca de algo? En español. ¿Qué palabra utilizamos? What? No, para preguntar acerca de algo que no conocemos. ¿Quién? Exacto, ¿quién? Oh. Pero, este... Ajá. Ah, bien. Pero aquí en este caso no vamos a usar el wish. En este. No vamos a usar who, sino que vamos a usar whose. ¿De quién? No. Who's, así, la who's. Por eso, who's. Otra. Next. Uh. Dice, is, is the kitty. The, is kitty. Kitty. La, la, el, 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 es como. ¿Dónde el, está? Ajá. Where? Entonces, ¿cuál palabra? Where. Where? Uh, book is on the table. ¿De Who's quién? Book? Ajá. Who's. Ahora la otra. Will you head to London? Will you head to London? By car. By car. Le está preguntando. ¿Qué le está preguntando? No, okay. Si la respuesta es by car, ¿qué le está preguntando? El carro. ¿sí? By car significa en vehículo. En vehículo. Sí. Hello, finish. I know. No. No, okay. Maxa, pues déme las otras. <laughs> Para terminar. Or will you get 
How will you get to London? ¿Cómo How? llegarás a Londres? Um, ¿La otra? Uh, what do you do in the evening? What do you do in the evening? In... ¿Cuántos? How much? How many? How much? How much? Porque aquí, si se fijan, no los ha contado, sino que se le dice que tiene muchos amigos. ¿La 18? How much? Uh -huh. ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Qué pasó? Ey, que, que, que lo dejaron solo ahí en la reunión. ¿no? <risa> ¿Por qué? Es que no, ya había terminado con Kevin. Ah, no, qué rato estamos ahí. Ay, que, que pasó ahí y nadie. <risa> ah. Es que nosotros no hemos terminado. Bueno, hay que decir finish y después voy a ver. Ay, yo no, yo, yo, no es mira, aquí en el volado, yo me equivoqué en dos. En cuatro no, casos. Yo no. En la, en la del T. En la del T. Yo no en puedo hacer Tomé. esos ejercicios. Ah. No me permite editar, no sé. Ah, mira, una pregunta en la que te dice, por ejemplo, en la seis. Mr. Uh -huh. Sister, she's 11. Uh -huh. How old? Ah, que sí. Ajá, yo sí. sabía que eso era. <laughs> How old is your sister? Bueno, ya me quedé en 9. Qué arreguilla. A mí por ahí, yo le estaba hablando a, a Alicia. Alicia. Ella es 22. <laughs> ah. Y sí, hay dos preguntas, 22. Ey, de verdad. Oh. ¿Cómo puede estar sucediendo este suceso? Le voy a decir. How much is your new car? No. Ok. Eh, let's see the exercise, people. Vamos a ver el ejercicio. Vamos a tratar de eh, completarlo okay, con su ayuda. Comenzamos con el número uno. Your hobby. What is number one? What, what is? What? Okay, number two. Uh, why? I guess. Why, I guess. Three? Why? How many? How many? Okay. Uh, number four. Who? 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 Five? When? 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 Six? How old? How old? How old? Seven? Why? 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 Eight? Uh, when? How? I when? How? Oh, when? Uh, when? 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 Ah, uh, when? Nine? How many? How many? How many? Ten? How old? How, How old? old? How old? Eleven? When? When? Oh, I'm sorry. Eleven? When? Twelve? Uh -huh. Who? Who? Who's who? Who is playing with the dog? Thirteen. Oh, who's? Who's? Mm. Where? Oh, the where is the kitty? Where, ah, where, 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 ah, where is the kitty? Yes. Fourteen. Who's? 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 Six. Fifteen. Oh. How? 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 Sixteen. What? What? What do you do in the evening? Seventeen. Mm -hmm. How, How many? How many? 
How much, I guess. How much is your new car? It's very expensive. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. How much? How much? A uh, 23. Where? Where would you spend your holiday? 24. Uh huh. How will you go? In 25. How? Who? How? Who's on? Who's right? How? How? No. I mean, con how me salió bueno. En 24, 24. 25. Ah, sí. Ah, ya te digo. Ok. A saber. No te lo sé. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Very good. Ok. Ok, let, now we're going to come back to the manual. Vamos a regresar al manual. Ok, y decimos, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really, what sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Um, number, letter B. Mm, how often do you usually... No, no, no. Um... How often do you watch soccer on Sundays afternoon? No, 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 no. No. When? When, when do you okay. usually? When do you usually? Exactly. When do you usually watch soccer on Sundays afternoon? And where do you usually watch it? Excellent. Where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Mm -hmm. This um, How often? How often do you go? Oh my God. Uh -huh. No, it is when. When? Mm -hmm. Because the, the, answer, the answer is about once a month. No, no, no. Oh, I, 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 oh, yeah. oh, it's not talking about time. How often? How often? Uh -huh, how often? It's yeah. about frequency. You're right. Exactly. Uh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Uh -huh. Where do you go? When do you go? When do you go? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Who do you usually Who do you go with? Who do you usually go with? Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. Okay. All right. Yo soy, el, el, yo soy letter A, you say son letter B. Ready? Yes. Hey, I watch sports and television every weekend. Really? really? What sport do you, like, sport do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. When do you when usually, do you usually, usually watch, watch, soccer? watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? And how? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. How often, how often do you go, do you go, do you go, go by? Really? Oh, about really? once a month. I love, to go, by I love to go bike riding. I go, I go every Sunday. Sunday. Really? When do you go? Usually, usually about, 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 one about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My, my sister. sister. My sister. Come my sister. With, with come. Next time. Just next time. Excellent. Very good. 
Ok, ahora vamos a completar la siguiente parte del ejercicio B. En el ejercicio B ya está en la respuesta. Ustedes tienen que completar con la pregunta. Por ejemplo, I like sports. I like, I like a lot of sports. But I really love volleyball. What sport do you like? En las en la, en la siguientes, ustedes tienen que colocar la pregunta dependiendo de la respuesta. Vamos a darle tres minutos. Tres minutos. I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. And I usually play with my sister and some friends. Who do you play with? When do you practice? Um, what time do you start? Where do you play? Where do you where do you usually play it? Play it. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. Okay, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Letter A. Who do you play with? Who do you... Who do you play? Who do you play with? Who do you play with? I usually play, play with my sister and some friends. Letter A. <sighs> When do you play? When do you? When do you? Hey, or when do you play? Oh, when do you play? When do you play? Or when do you usually? Vamos a poner para que se when do you usually play? When do you usually play? Ah, usually play, or we usually practice. When you practice in sermons. Okay. Okay. Letter A. When do, the, when do you start? When do you when do you start? We start at about noon. Hey. And where do you where do you usually practice or play it? Oh. Where do you usually play it or play. We usually play, play in the or yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Oh, yes. Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Yes. Lo voy a dejar un par de segundos por si quieres tomar captura de pantalla.
Okay, let's continue. Ok, ahora vamos a, a hacer el speaking part, la parte de, de hablar, y vamos a hacer cinco preguntas acerca de deporte. Vamos a escribir ahorita cinco preguntas acerca de deporte. Por ejemplo, aquí hay unos ejemplos. Valga la redundancia. Um, for example, what sport do you like? When do you play? When do you play basketball? When do you play soccer? Vamos a hacer cinco preguntas relacionadas a deporte. Okay. Cinco preguntas. Cinco preguntas. Cuando ya las tengan, me avisan, por favor. Ready? Cinco preguntas relacionadas a deporte. Right. Ya estamos listos con las cinco preguntas. Only one left. Ok, vamos a pasar la pregunta a nuestros compañeros.
All right. Well, now we're going to uh, listen some of you the question that you wrote. Vamos a escuchar las preguntas que algunos se escribieron. Okay, vamos a comenzar con Mr. Maxim Maximiliano. What are the questions that you create? I create, uh, for example, when do you play soccer? Who do you play with? Where do you play soccer? How often do you play basketball? Excellent. Where do you watch basketball? Excellent. Vamos a, okay, vamos a pedirle a Mr. Kevin si puede contestar las preguntas de Mr. Maximiliano. Comience, Mr. Max. I'm waiting. Mr. Max. <laughs> Sorry, I was mute. Uh, when do you play soccer? What? When do you play soccer? Or you, you don't play soccer? Cuando juego football. Exactly. Uh, to... Two times for a week, twice for a week. I'm sorry. Entiendo sorry. la pregunta cuándo juego, cuándo juego. Uh -huh. Pero no es mejor que me digas, do you like soccer? Mm. How often do you play soccer? And for example, I created a question and you will respond and over your your priority, your 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 life. If you don't play soccer, uh, I don't play soccer. So mm -hmm. that could be the answer. Ah. Uh -huh. Es que no tengo bien entendido la pregunta porque me decía, when do you, when do you play soccer? Ajá. Uh -huh. yo, si no... yo lo he entendido como cuando juega el fútbol. Exacto. Pero si no juega el fútbol, es como que yo no sé que no juega el fútbol. ¿Ah? Entonces, yo te pregunto, when do you play soccer? I don't play soccer. I don't play soccer. Like that. Who do you play with? Con quien juego? Uh -huh. I play alone. <laughs> in, in the FIFA. Saca ring. <laughs> alone. Saca gol. Uh, Where do you <laughs> play? <laughs> Where do you play soccer? Where do you play soccer? Where where do you play soccer? Where we're in the uh, in the country? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> the soccer field. Uh, soccer field. Uh -huh. Where do you play? How often do you play basketball? Or do you play basketball? I don't play basketball. And do you like to watch basketball? <laughs> No, really. <laughs> okay, good. Enough. Let's see, Miss Alicia. Las preguntas a la va a ser a Mr. José Ramón. Pero yo, yo no sé de juego. Solo hice cuatro. Está bien. Las la, la cuatro preguntas que hizo se las va a preguntar a Mr. José Ramón. Okay. What your favorite team? What? What your favorite team? Team. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I don't like. We are talking about soccer, but I don't have a favorite team. <laughs> in basketball okay. team? Uh, in I don't like uh, any sport. Okay. Okay. Do you like play soccer? No, <laughs> I no. don't like. What do you favor you players? I uh, 
uh, no, no, I don't have any, any favorite players. Okay. The, when do you play soccer? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. I don't. No. Uh, oh, I just sometimes uh, I just watch it um, on TV, but yeah. Okay. In general, like, okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Ok, en un segundo voy a compartir con usted el audio. Hi everyone, in this class you learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of compliment. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is, who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb do. After that, the subject you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. 
I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say who do you play with without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, all right. So there we have the part that we already studied. Okay, and here we have another conversation. Vamos a ver el uso de can and can't. El uso de can y can es un, un adverbio modal, que es un modal verb. Y los modal verbs, lo que hace la diferencia entre los modal verbs y los verbos, los, los verbos normales, pues que ellos tienen su propia eh, forma de negar, de afirmar y de pre hacer preguntas. Vamos a ver, y dice, eh, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Sunday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can, you can do too. Oh no, I can't. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. One more time. Oh, look, there's a talent contest. Oh, Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Maximiliano yeah, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Maxiliano, he is uh, Kayla, and Mr. Kevin, he is Philip. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good. Miss, uh, Miss Alicia, she is Kayla. Mr. Jose Ramon, he is Philip. Okay. Oh, look there at talent concert. On Saturday, let's enter. I can enter uh, a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can sing uh, up, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter to enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good. Bueno, eh, ¿qué significa en sí can? Es un verbo modal que se puede utilizar primero para eh, expresar habilidad. Expresar una habilidad. Yo puedo bailar, yo puedo saltar, yo puedo cantar. Ella puede eh, escribir, ella, nosotros podemos hablar inglés. O también se puede utilizar para pedir permiso, permission. Por ejemplo, can I go to the restroom? Puedo ir al, al baño. Puedo, puedo preguntarte algo. Can I ask you something? Entonces se puede utilizar en dos contextos. Uno para expresar habilidad y otro para expresar permiso o hacer request. ¿Cuál es la forma negativa? La forma negativa es can't. Can't. Con una T al final. En ciertos textos lo va a encontrar como can not. Alright. La forma afirmativa, I can. Y la forma negativa, can't. Por ejemplo, eh, I can sing. I can act. I can dance. I can swim. I can't sing. 
I can't act, I can't dance, or I can't swim. For example, de todas esas, ¿cuáles son las habilidades que Mr. Maximiliano puede hacer? What can you do, Mr. Maximiliano? I can't sing, uh, I can swim. Okay, you can I sing, can, you can swim. I can act and I can dance. All right, negative, right? How yes. about Mr. Kevin? I can act and I can swim. Okay. Negative? I can't act and I can't swim. All right. How about Miss Alicia? I can dance and I can't act. You can't act. All right, yes. Mr. Okay, Mr. Ramon. Jose Ramon. Um, let me see. <laughs> um, I can swim. I can swim. Um, I can act. But I can't dance and I can't sing. All right, good. You can dance, mm -hmm. you can swim, but you, but you can't act and neither sing. Very good. Okay, acá está la forma, la estructuración, por ejemplo... Para decir yo puedo o yo no puedo, can and can. Valga, la, eh, valga especificar que para todos los pronombres, ya sea I, you, he, she, we, they, no va a cambiar nada, en la, ni en la negativa ni en la afirmación. Y para hacer preguntas solo vamos a cambiar la posición. Can you, can I, can he, can she, can we, can they. Por ejemplo, en el ejercicio 2, ¿qué podríamos decir? I can. I can act. I can act. Okay. Number three. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't think. <laughs> Number four. I can't. I can't. I can't fix, right? Bueno, pero es mujer, no creo que podría arreglar. Lo podría arreglar. <risa> ok, no. No. Ok, I bye. Can, I can't. I can't, right? This is negative. Fix. I. I can't. I can't. Well, I can't. I can't. Seven. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can okay. I okay. can play the piano. Number eight. I can I can I can't cook. I can't cook. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is, when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. 
I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Okay, okay. Well, eh, vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día. Ok, creo que son los mismos. Voy con Miss Alicia. She is here. Present. Vamos a Mr. Mr. Kevin Ruiz. Present. Thank you. Vamos. Mr. Maximiliano. He is here. Present. And Mr. José Ramón Polán. Present. Ok, let's stop right here the class. Vamos a quedarnos acá. Y vamos a continuar el día de mañana. Ok, y finalizamos el día miércoles. Recordarles, realizar las tareas para que estemos a tiempo de poder subir sus promedios y que sea más fácil la transición al siguiente. Ok, I appreciate okay. your participation. Have a good one and bye-bye. Thank you, bye. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow.